Andrew? Yes. What time is it? 11.28 p.m. What are we doing right now? <sighs> We're talking about the navigator swap. Five, four, four valve. I've been looking it up. 250 bucks is what we got into that navigator over there. We just looked up the Carfax. It's got 215,000 miles. Which for a mod motor, early Ford mod motor, that's like, that's like barely even broken in. Yeah, I bought that from a local junkyard. I got told it was uh, a tow-in recovery or repo or some something weird like that. So it is either perfectly fine, someone didn't pay their bill, or it might have gotten towed in with a blown engine, blown trans, and sat somewhere for a long time before it finally ended up at a yard. Um, it's a little bit of gamble, but I mean, we can pull the engine out, drop the oil out. It's not much of a gamble. The only thing we're gambling is really time. Yeah, time. I mean, because we pretty much regardless, I was pulling this engine out anyways. I was planning on using some accessories and timing cover stuff for the red GT500 for the turbo setup. Um, but I did find one issue with doing that because I'm running the air to water manifold. I can't run the alternator in uh, the middle of the valley like I was planning on. So that's a whole different story. Um, so that's the only reason I really bought the navigator. So now we got that. It's complete, like 100% complete. Every coolant line, vacuum. Yeah, like the car wasn't it. even in an accident or nothing. It was just. Yeah, they which just... which typically when you got a junk vehicle, that either means the engine or trans is blown, but knowing what I know from the guy I got it from, um, I'm sitting here thinking like, there is not a lot that we need to do that. I mean, other than like maybe doing a gasket kit on it, oil pan gasket, we drop the pan, make sure it's not like, I, if there's like a little bit of like metal, you know, if, um, but the the I think the overall plan. Me and Andrew have been sitting here for like the past hours editing the Turdzilla video. Editing the Turdzilla video. Um, the we've been just talking about, and he's been doing a lot of research on it. And we've just been like, you know, dropping that five four in that car will maybe cost five hundred bucks. That's yeah, I mean, max. Like in, in case we need any big items, like big things. I mean, I we were just looking it up. I mean, we did just have a pretty bad setback. Um, it's just some info I found online. We might need a K member space your kit. That's a major setback. That's it's, like like we're not gonna be able to do it with that setback. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to like kind of figure it out. It's hundred bucks for a K member spacer kit. So that um, might that might throw us over budget. That's like, that's killing the budget budget build. So what's going on, guys? We are back. Uh, Turdzilla. We dropped the video. We've got so many awesome things happening. Um, a lot of comments on the video, and. Uh, we definitely discussed some possibilities of the Godzilla. Maybe the Godzilla can still happen one day, but budget-wise, this makes a lot of sense. Uh, right here, I think we have an O2 Navigator. I looked up the Carfax, 215,000 miles. Let's see if we can give this old Navigator some life. Now, we don't know. This was a tow-in recovery I bought from another yard, um, but uh, no key. Um, so we can't just like start it and make sure it works um, unless we did like Pat's delete, hot wire it, you know, all that stupid stuff. Our goal here is to get this ripped out of here. And uh, I actually originally bought this to use the accessories on the GT500 build, but it's kind of just been sitting here. So let's see what the oil looks like. Coolant, drop the pan out. Uh, we're gonna pull it obviously first because that's kind of a job objective number one. But we really have no info on this thing. There you go. So, uh, these things will, they, they look cool sticking out the hood. Like I said, we, we don't know uh, anything about this thing. Um, I guess one good sign is we don't see like any major uh, like overflow from the coolant. It's still got coolant in it. So, let's get her torn out, see what happens. We're gonna hope that maybe they uh, ditch this thing because maybe the transmission blew. Let's get her torn out. We'll forklift her over and uh, get this drivetrain ripped out.
so if this catches on fire, it's a possibility, but uh, well, there is also a good possibility that this might um, have the alarm going off, but I'm hooking up power. Um, someone before uh, cut the terminals. But no alarm? No, I guess not. Oh, it locked. It locked itself. Yeah. So jump the starter is the next plan? Yeah, see if we can get it to turn over. Now, uh, we don't know if it's in neutral. <laughs> so I'll just get the rear wheels off the ground just in case. Okay, so we got our good old thingamajigger. So that's got 12 volts. She's got compression. It sounds like the transmission's making some noise. Yeah? I hear that. Yeah, it sounds like it's got I guess, uh, let's start tearing her apart. Blake filmed of uh, the smash and you know the header assembly. Panel. The header panel is being a pain in the butt. I looked up, there's like nothing worth anything in parts on these things, so I just smashed the header panel, it's already broken. So, um, a couple hours have gone past of cutting and hammering and... Don't ever work on one of these. I would never own one of these. Um, I'm so glad this thing is never going to have a life again. You know, we did the navigator swap because it was free. Wouldn't say this is free. After thinking about taking the body off the frame, how to pull the engine from the top with the cherry picker, there's no room in there for it to come out. So, uh, we're kind of just brainstorming how to do it. And now we've kind of just said it with the brainstorming um we set the front of it down on those wheels and uh uh yeah he's gonna just chop the frame off um essentially basically making the front part of the frame its own separate like deal and then just raise the rest of the car up engine out perfect um so that's where we're at right now cutting the frame fresh battery this blade is the real MVP today. Dude, it's been cutting like butter. Is it through? I think it's through. <laughs> yeah, cause look, it's not synced up anymore. Um, this camera's not focused. Oh wow. What? She's got some strength though. Yeah, you can see it's separating. I think we cut the other side, so it's all just gonna flop out. Okay, this side, a little more tricky. It's got harnesses in the way. Oh. There she is. <laughs> Dude, that thing is probably steaming hot. It was smoking pretty good, but that freaking blade? Actually, that was the brake line. Um, the brake line was smoking pretty good. Yeah, it's just getting a little sketchy.
All right, um, let's put... Well, there we go. It's free now. Is it? It just plopped back. Like it was coming forward a little bit and you just, you shook it and it plopped back. I think it's good to go. I'm just worried about how stable the the body of the truck is because now we actually do have a lot uh, of weight. Yeah, that is, that is true. Um, well, let's take a look. Let's cut out our lines and whatnot. That's going to hold us up, but I've never pulled the navigator motor before, but Okay. Well, well, um It could have been that steering shaft. I mean if you take it if you take a hammer and that steering shaft real quick, it'll probably bust it right out of place. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's free, buddy. I don't like that, though. Why is it doing that? It's one of the, so, like... Oh, it's one of the exhaust pipes. Goes under. What do you think of this, Brad? Um, pretty interesting. Since a lot of the weight is on the back, you probably could just stab that back glass and hit it like from those. It'll probably lift it right up in that, in the back side. No way! That Final destination. Jamie, you can throw rocks at it now. Yay! Yeah, but don't throw them in we the had a, we, had a, we had a lot of things to figure out today. Oh, you're not going to do that. Don't hit my Cobra. You need a big... <laughs> Yo! What's in front of it? Careful! Got him right here!